<clears throat> hey Capricorns, welcome to your love reading. If you are a Capricorn cross watcher, welcome, welcome. So we about to turn this mother out. We got a real kind of thing going down, getting down. There's a whole lot of cappies going down. We, you know what this Capricorn told me? Capricorn said, I said, well, I believe in intimacy. Capricorn said, yes, and I believe in financial intimacy. I think we should know, you know, what's going on with each other financially. I was like, man, you're crazy. You be looking at my financials. I think we should know each other's credit score. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait one minute. I was like, okay, Capri's okay. All right, Capricorns, we're going to take a look at your love right now. This is for the Capricorns. Good morning. Who do we have in the room? Chateau Mahogany, what's going on? Chateau, what kind of Capricorn placement do you have? Chateau, what's your Capricorn placement? Mahogany, what's your Capricorn placement? All right, who are we talking about, Capricorns? Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about as far? None. Are you just here chilling? Mahogany, you got any Capricorn placements? All right, let's see what we have here for the Capricorns. Oh, well, thank you for your support. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, so Capricorns, let's see. Who are going to be connecting to the Capricorns this week? We have a Pisces. You like the setting? This is Buckham. Isn't that nice? This is a $35 million house. I just took a picture and I was like, yeah, let's, let's vibe with that. I see an Aquarius. Yeah, because every house, let me tell you something. Every house that I have posted up, I have lived in a house just like that house that I have posted up. So to be in, because this is Buckwood, this is where I dream to live. Yes, darling, let's do it. All right. I also see a Libra, one more person that's going to be affecting you. And I see a Virgo. All right. Now let's ask, let's see, let's see, let's ask the cards. The Zodiac cards, which signs are going to be vibing with you? Which signs are going to be vibing with Capricorn? All right, Capricorn, we have a Cancer. Oh, today is a solar eclipse. Brace yourself. All right. I don't know where you are in the world, but depending on where you are, like if you're in Texas and stuff, you can see it, but you can't, you can only see partial eclipse over here in Georgia. I see a Cancer. Hmm. Let me put Capricorn in the banner so people know what we are doing here. Because we got a real kind of thing going down, getting down. There's a whole lot of rhythm going down. All right, Capricorn love. Let's get it. Save and show. There we go. What other signs are going to be impacting Capricorn? Well, let's see. We see a Cancer here or somebody whose moon is in what? Whose moon is in? No, whose moon? We see, I see a Cancer. I also see a Scorpio or a, um, what's the other one that's, or an Aries? Okay. We see someone who Neptune, I see a Pisces acting crazy. I see a Pisces. Who else for the Capricorn? Who else for Capricorn? And I see someone with Sagittarius in their chart or a Sagittarius. All right. So for you Capricorn singles, Let's see what's going on with you all. All right. Who, ooh, there could be a catfish. Be careful. I see there's a secret work lover for some of you or where, wherever facility you're in. You could be in a jail. All right. But um, all right. So Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. Let's take a look at your love. 
All right. Oh, we got the emperor. I see a very masculine energy around you, or you could be a very masculine energy. Somebody has their self together. They could be a businessman. They could have Aries or Scorpio in their chart. They're truly somebody who could save you. I mean, literally, this is some you have yourself together financially. This could definitely be you. This is somebody who's together financially. You could have acquired a new piece of property or there's some business uh, acumen that you have that you're using to help others. You could be buying something, purchasing some real estate. But as far as love is concerned, I see a very masculine energy that is around you. So Capricorn, how are you viewing uh, those of you who have a relationship or that are seeing someone? How are you viewing your connection now? How are you viewing your connection now? Okay. The full reverse. So somebody doesn't want to take a leap of faith in a relationship. This could be you or this could be them, mainly because it could be because you're focusing on yourself too much or on. You could be married. You could have been married before. You may not have been quite over your marriage or there could be a married man that you care about here. Uh-oh. What happened? Good morning, Conductor Tarot. How are you? Um, there could be a married man that you uh, care about here. But I feel that you are viewing this connection as something that you don't want to take a leap of faith in um, anymore. Uh, because you're losing hope. I don't, you don't feel like your intuition, your inner feelings are telling you not to take a leap of faith with this situation anymore, or somebody else's inner feelings could have told them not to take a leap, a leap of faith with you. Somebody saw you or you see somebody as the only one, ironically, that this person wanted. Like we have to unfold this to see what's going on here. So I see a masculine energy, which could be you, right? And, uh, or your person, but somebody doesn't want to take a, a leap of faith. They feel like there's too many options here. Remember we talked about that last time? All right. Let's see. Why is the seven of cups here? Reverse. Somebody just feels like you guys are not moving forward uh, in the way that they wanted to move forward. And so what are they going to do? And so somebody is going to stop dating one person and start dating someone else right? Even though they really like this masculine energy. Okay. The next person, how are they viewing things? Somebody is viewing you as somebody that they want to make a commitment to, but there could be some financial issues that are at the, okay, wait a minute. I know. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this again. So I see a masculine energy here who you might really care about, but you I don't know. I think you might be your inner feelings are are kind of conflicted about whether or not you you still believe in this relationship or not. I do believe that this is the person that you want. And I feel like the relationship is not moving in the the way that you want, but you don't want to go anywhere right? The chariot is reversed, could be dealing with the cancer. You could have cancer in your chart. You or the other person doesn't want to go anywhere, right? Um, this could be a Sagittarius that we're talking about, a Leo or a, um, a Sagittarius, a Leo. Also, there might be something about moving. Somebody's trying to be real slick about moving. There's some moving arrangements that are hidden, Somebody is going to secretly move or there's something that's sneaky about moving. This could be a Scorpio or this could be a, um, um, Sagittarius. Ah, oh, thank you, Cerebral Sierra. That's so pretty. Hey, Robert. Yes, it is the solar eclipse today. Thank you, Cerebral. I thank you very much. That's so sweet. Um, so what was I saying? 
was that, um, yeah, the Capricorn is very passionate about this person, but feels like this person is there. Oh, you're being sneaky about moving. I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said, cause people are stalking her. Wow. Okay. I feel you. Um, somebody also, either you are, you are not bringing commitment as you start to date right now, or other people are not bringing commitment to you. Somebody is not bringing commitment. It's the masculine energy or the fem somebody is not quite bringing commitment. And you talk to people about that. You've been talking to people about the fact that you love this person, but they're not trying to settle down with you. Um, and it looks like there could be some um, serious issues regarding finances that is conflicting or, uh, encroaching this relationship right now. But I feel that you talk to people now, maybe you held things in, but you're coming out of a dark place by, hmm, is my phone here? I had, I had took and take some, I took some notes on this card because this card is um, really a powerful card. Continue, wait, uh, allow. Let me see if I can. Yeah. All right. This card right here represents a shift from mental distress to a period of recovery, or you're in the process of letting go of unwarranted worries or guilt. Yeah. I feel that some of you could be worrying and it's unwarranted. Like maybe the, the commitment is not happening as fast as you want, but it doesn't mean that it won't happen. Right. Um, this means that you are actively working on stress management techniques. Also, this shift suggests that although the path might be challenging, you're taking steps in the right direction towards mental and emotional well being. Right. The nine of. Okay, hold on. So if you're asking about a potential relationship, the nine of swords reverse. Oh, you can't see with that thing there. Huh? Let me see if I can remove it. So the nine, I have wrote this down. The nine of swords reverse as a situation means that fears and worries about the relationship are subsiding. And there's a period of stress and anxiety that could be coming to an end. And this indicates a positive development where open communication and, and mutual understanding is helping to alleviate worries. So um, some of you just need to talk it out with somebody, but you're losing faith. You're, you don't, your inner feelings don't want to take a leap of faith. You're also moving or there is a move, but I feel that you guys are going to talk things out. You're going to talk it out. There's going to be open communication and you're going to be in a better place regarding this connection. All right. Um, but cause you don't want to go anywhere. Oh, you don't trust him. Oh, I see. I see you don't trust him. I, I can understand that, but I feel that you guys are going to start having communication, open communication. I feel that um, Cerebral Sierra and any other Capricorn that's watching, and up until now, because we haven't finished the reading, but when I get the Nine of Swords reversed, it kind of seems like you might need to like also tell other people around you what's going on so you can get a, a comprehensive perspective because your perspective might be a little skewed. I'm not saying to not trust your intuition. I'm just saying, you know, to run it by two to three people who you really trust and get some more perspectives before you make a, you know, a, um, a decision. All right. So, but at first the situation really did bother you. I, I don't feel though, like the chariot is in reverse. I don't feel like your feelings for this person are leaving or their feelings for you are not leaving. I feel like 
you might want them to go, or, you know, you're just losing faith in this connection because this person is not offering commitment or you're not offering somebody else commitment. And I feel that as you start talking to other people around you, you'll get different perspectives because I do feel like this is somebody that you care about. And I do feel like this is somebody who you, um, you, you may, let's see, you may really care about, but I feel that now it looks like you're ready to start I feel like if if you could trust this person, you would you would come out of this hermit mode. But I just feel like right now um, you you need to get different perspectives. You get you need to hear what other people have to say, because I see you ready to meet new people. I see you really ready to meet new people. All right. Some of you are others of you. On the other hand, I just feel like. um you you need to talk to other people. You don't want to leave, right? You just are not, you just, you guys are feeling very different about some real core value stuff, but there is a potential for marriage here. There's a potential for longevity here, but you guys feel very different about some core stuff, right? But I don't see that you really want to, I left my ex in the past, and I genuinely do want this person and I genuinely do not want this person back. Okay. Well, some Capricorns don't want the person back, but they still love the person. Um, but some people do want this person back. And, you know, this is a general reading is not for a personal one person is for a whole bunch of different Capricorns. But um, I see that some of you don't want to go forward you, this is the person who you have selected and you don't want to leave them. And, and at least your heart doesn't want to leave. But, um, I, I see, I see that you are, I don't care what any of you guys say, you still love this person and this person still loves you, but I do feel that you are ready to start meeting new people. And you're very clear about being ready to meet new people. But I still see you looking back for some of you at somebody from the past that is not completely over with. I do see you moving on and considering your other options um, with different people, but you're still looking back at somebody from the past. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, this is somebody who you can see yourself married to. Well, let's finish the singles first and then uh, maybe I'll look at that. Um, Uh, the chariot is coming in reverse. First of all, what is the chariot doing in here anyway? Let's do it. Let's clarify this. Huh. Let's see. How are you feeling? Yeah, you're feeling like you do want to meet new people. Um, how else are you feeling? But your intuition for some of you is telling you, so there's two storylines. Some of you, I just don't want to be with him, but I do look forward to meeting my husband. Okay, well, that's how Cerebral Sierra feels, but there's a lot of other people that have different feelings. But um, now for some of you Capricorns, you do you do want to meet other people because you you might want to meet other people because the perspectives that you're taking in this relationship can be a little convoluted. And before you completely leave the person that you're with, uh, for those of you who are with someone, I would really encourage you to start talking to people about the perspectives that you're taking, because some of them look like they might be a little different if you allow other people to give you their um you know, their opinions about things. You might feel very different about that. Hey girl, I'm live. Let me call you back when I'm off. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. So, um, yeah. So some of you are viewing this situation that you're in I hope my little hair piece don't come off. If it does, I'm going to turn around and put it right back on. Shit. Let me hold on to it. Okay, there we go. So um, 
some of you, like I said, has lost faith in this connection. And it looks like somebody was coming to you without commitment, but they were bringing a lot of passion. But I feel that um, some of you are come out of this dark place by talking to other people, right? Now, some of you might be ready to meet new people or you want to get out of this rut that you and your partner are in. And you're kind of almost like at a stalemate with this relationship. It looks like finances has a lot to do with why you guys might be at a stalemate right now. Um, but I feel like you, somebody is giving you the cold shoulder right now. You're getting the cold shoulder from somebody or you're giving somebody the cold shoulder. You're not speaking to somebody. There might have been a death or an end to a situation for some of you. And you might stop seeing one person and started seeing other people. You stop seeing one person and you started to see other people, but you still look back at somebody from the past. Right. And I feel like something gets cut off. All right. Something gets cut off. That's storyline number one. That's storyline number one. Now, how is this person feeling? I really feel like finances is a sore spot in this relationship. And I don't know for who. But finances uh, is a sore spot here. Somebody also may be more mature than the other one, right? Or there might be a completely, somebody might be in another relationship, right? So you're trying to have a connection with somebody, but they're in a completely different relationship. I feel, I feel like there was a, um, there was a falling out and you guys went your separate ways, but you guys are coming out of that. You're coming out of the fallen out. And I feel like this person wants to be with you or you want to be with this person still and they don't want to be with you. But you, the Capricorn is here still wanting to be with this person or the, the it could be vice versa. So let's look at the second story now. All right, for those of you in relationships. So it looks like your ex still wants to be with you and um, you don't want to be with them or you still want to be with your ex and they don't want to be with you or they're dead. You know, they've transitioned. Why does that look so low? Oh, now that's too high. That's too high. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see if we can get another story here. God, it went back down. I'll fix it later. All right, who are we talking about? This is somebody who is obsessing over you or who you are obsessing over. Somebody is obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them. How are you viewing things? For some of you, you're a little indecisive about somebody. You or they are indecisive about you. How are you feeling about things? Um, home, a new home or moving in together. Let's make it official. Some of you want to make it official with the person that you're with. Like you either want to move in a home with them. You want to be with them or you want to, um, oh, really? Oh, really? Wow. Okay. So, um, some of you want to be with them. You want a home with them. And this is somebody who you are damn near obsessed about, but a little indecisive because you don't really know where they're coming from. But I feel like you may want this to work for those of you who are with someone, right? Um, that doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to read that. That doesn't make any sense either. That doesn't make any sense either. Let me reshuffle this. So this is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. This is what you're going to do. This is what you are going to do. This is what you're going single. Wow. Single. 
you're going to remain single until, you know, this person shows up and, and wants to have a real relationship. Let's see, how are they feeling about you? So let's see, why is stop obsessing here? Why is stop? Up? Somebody is completely obsessed with you and they're getting ready to text message you and they're going to be texting you. They're going to tell you about a new car that they got or a new place that they have or something is going on with their life. They're going to tell you something about like the 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 new things that are happening in their lives. Right. Somebody could be having a baby. Somebody could be pregnant here. Um, or there's children involved. Somebody is secretly saying, don't overstay your welcome. But um, the other person feels like, I don't know, I see some baby mama, baby daddy drama too. But the end is you're special. Somebody thinks that you're really special and I love the way you treat me and I love how your actions speak. So I don't know. Somebody is obsessed with you and they want to be with you. You still feel like you're single. Um, you, but they do care about you. They're just not giving you a commitment right now. All right. <laughs> you want a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar. <laughs> All right. Okay. You know, hey, I believe that you can create whatever you want. Kevin Samuels did believe that, but I believe you can create whatever you want. All right. Let's look at uh, Capricorns and relationships. All right. Capricorns and relationships. Both of you guys want to hold on to this relationship, okay? Um, but you also are tempted to date somebody new, like you're wondering what it would be like to date somebody new too. Um, but you can't really see yourself dating somebody new because you're really stuck on this Scorpio or you're stuck on this earth sign or you're stuck on this person that you can't let go of. You've been trying to let go of it. The relationship technically has ran its course, but I feel like you're stuck on somebody that you can't let go of, right? Um, but I feel that you're very critical of this relationship because you have observed a lot of things about this person or this person is very critical about you. This could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. They have uh, maybe given you a little bit of a silent treatment. You're not communicating right now, or this is you not communicating really with your partner because um, somebody sees well, somebody is kind of looking at death, kind of looking at this kind of being over a little bit because they either you or your partner wants to see what else is out there. And if there's somebody that they're a little bit more compatible with, maybe. All right. Uh, so how is the second energy feeling? The second energy is feeling the hermit. This person could have Virgo in their chart, sun, moon or rising. This person is really thinking about this separating from this relationship, right? Somebody is thinking about separating. Um, let's see. Somebody wants to be free. They want to do their thing, especially if they have Sagittarius in their chart. They want to be free. They don't want to be tied down in a relationship and they don't want any stepchildren. They don't want to be bothered really to take us. They don't want to take a single mother seriously because they don't want the children that come with it. The other person feels like, well, if you knew I had children, why did you b bother with me in the first place, right? The other person feels like, because I wanted some and I wanted something casual, just because I, you know, mess with you doesn't mean I wanted to marry you. The other person feels like, well, you know that I wanted to get married. Why did you continue to deal with me if you knew that I wanted to be married? The other person feels like once you knew what was up with me and how I really felt, if you still chose to deal with me, that's on you. You a grown ass woman. I don't want to be bothered with your children. I really don't want to be a stepfather. And that's how I feel. Uh Oh, this is getting real. 
the other person feels like, well, I mean, we don't have anything to talk about if this is how you really feel, right? You know, then the other person feels like I understand, you know, where you're coming from because the other person has such a high level of uh, an abundance with women. They really like this person has money, they have clout, they have status. And, you know, you are competing with a man who, who has money with the middle, you know, with a woman with kids. Right. So yeah, I don't know what's going on here, but somebody feels like I want to be free from this situation. And the other person is trying to give them the silent treatment, but I wouldn't be trying to give this man the silent treatment, especially if you have kids, because he looks at that as a liability. Now, that's really uncomfortable. That's really not usual for a Capricorn to feel that way because usually Capricorns want to be fathers. So this could be the person that you're dealing with. They have a problem with they don't want to be, you know, um, a stepfather. They don't want to be committed to uh, a woman with children. It looks like somebody already knows this and they've been talking to other people about it. Um, but you guys are going to make it work. I don't see anybody going anywhere. Um, but I feel that me, maybe let's see, what is the problem with the children? They want you to themselves. And, um, I feel like you're waiting for them to say something about children. This, this kind of seems like a personal reading. I kind of feel like this is a cross watcher reading, or I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to, but Somebody is ready for their boyfriend or their, you know, to start including kids in the life that they're trying to build with each other. But it just kind of seems like um, this person never includes the kids when they talk about a future with each other. And that really is bothering somebody here. All right. Um so I see somebody being very critical of the relationship because of that, but they really want to hold on to this relationship. They don't want to let it go. And eventually what happens, eventually the person does start to accept your children. Eventually I do see the children are accepted, especially when you bring money to the table and you don't expect him to feed somebody else's kids. Now women feel like, well, you know, these are my kids. How can you not love me and not love my kids? And I agree with the men. I wouldn't want to be feeding somebody else's kids either. And I'm a woman, right? I don't want to feed. How come their father is not feeding them? Right? I, no, I don't know. But a lot of men feel that way. And that's how this one feels too. But he's going to get over it. He's not going to feel this way all the time. It looks like they're going to get over it. Okay. I don't want to be bothered with somebody else's kids. Well, then why'd you start that? Why'd you start dealing with me? You know, a Splenda daddy. Stella, <laughs> you want a sugar daddy that don't want no sugar. I know that's right. All right. All right. I don't know if that was anybody's story, but um, even if it is your story, if it, if the person is a little skittish about you having kids, it looks like you guys are going to work through it. Okay. Because there could very much so be a wedding here. It could be a very long-term relationship here. You guys could very much so work through this. Is there anybody else in the room besides Cerebral Sierra? All right. All right, Capricorn singles. I mean, Capricorn, well, is there anything? Well, I do see a relationship for some of you, all right, who are not married. And... Um, I feel like you really only have eyes for a particular person and you're being very honest in this relationship. Hi, Tamara. <laughs> right. Uh, 
Oh, really? That's good. That's good. Um, but I don't know. I feel suspicious when when grown men love other men's kids. I don't know. I think they want to molest them or something. But I just got a warped mind, so don't pay attention to me. I never let ever let men around kids around me. I just don't know why. I just don't. They can't close the door with the child. They can't do anything. If I have a child in my care, a man can't do anything alone, can't change the diaper, can't be in the room when I'm changing the diaper. I guess I'm just warped. But um, I feel like singles, there's somebody who you really are viewing, you know, in an exclusive light but you feel like you're giving a lot and you're not getting back in return what you're giving. You feel frustrated and exhausted because you, you know, it's like no harvesting is coming at all from all the work that you have put in this situation. You've given, you've given heads, you've cleaned, you've cooked, you've been nice, you've been a cooperative, like you feel like you're not getting an investment and you're starting to feel like maybe this is a waste of time, but you're going to hang in there because singles, it seems like this is somebody who you really love. You're head over heels and love crazy about somebody and you feel spiritually, sexually, and emotionally attracted to them. And you feel like maybe God sent you this person, right? How are they feeling? They are feeling the nine of wands reverse right? They're feeling less defensive. Their guard is down a little bit more regarding you. At least they see you as somebody that they can lower their guard with, right? We have the two of cups. They have strong emotions for you. They really feel strong emotions for you. They feel like... <laughs> yeah, I don't trust that shit. I think they're child molesters. I, you know, it was like, why are you asking about my son? You know, I don't know. Don't pay attention to me. But anyway, um, two of cups, this person feels very strong emotions for you. They feel a strong affinity towards you. They feel love for you, very strong emotions. And what are they going to do? Um, they're, they are going to show up for this relationship with you. They are going to show up for this relationship for you. They want to be with you. It's just that you might be with somebody who's poly. You might be poly. I do see that there's different people that you guys are given to. You guys are given to more than one person here in this connection, right? And so use your intuition in regards to this relationship, right? Use your intuition and... If they are giving their emotions to other people, then you, you know, maybe you should be giving your emotions to other people too. But um, I see you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I see here for you, Capricorns, that there's somebody who's here that has strong emotions for you. Your emotions are just a little bit stronger though. Like you're coming in as the lovers. Like you love this person. They're coming in as the two of cups, which is not as strong as the lovers. Nevertheless, you know, maybe you like Capricorn. Maybe you like um, uh, challenges, but I definitely feel like there is someone who you are seeing romantically and you want to see this person exclusively. And I feel that, you know, there's a part of you that thinks that it might be a waste of time for some reason I don't know why you feel that way or you just feel like you're not getting back what you're putting in to this situation. And it's because somebody's given to more than one person. Um, their guard is down. They feel like they're, you're somebody that they can trust and they do have strong emotion for you. But um, they don't feel like this is the only relationship for them. Like you feel like this is the only relationship for you. They feel like they want to date you and they want to date others too. And I see you being cool with that because you might be poly, right? But this person definitely wants to continue to see other people and hold on to you. Um, and you guys are getting marriage cards. You guys are getting cards that indicate you guys might be together for a long time. You guys might be poly. I see a poly relationship or relationships where there is definitely other people involved here. And, uh, but I definitely feel like either you're married 
or you have been married or you are moving towards marriage with this person that you're seeing, if you're seeing someone and is going very well right now. Okay. All right. That's what I have for you. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Just because he has two kids of his own doesn't mean that <laughs> that he's a good dad. You go, he has two kids of his own. Well, that means he's good with my <laughs> That doesn't mean shit. There's a whole bunch of women with a whole bunch of kids that are in foster care. Having kids don't make you a good dad or a good mom. But if he's all that great, then go back and be with him. You know, if it's all that, go be with him. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have here, my darlings? All right, Capricorn and the Zodiac. Capricorns and the Zodiac. Capricorn and Aries. It looks like it's, it looks like it's, I see communication, but it looks like it is, um, over and that you guys are no longer waiting to see where this connection can go. And it's possibly because um, you're not getting a commitment. Oh, hey, Bobby Burnett. Okay. All right. Yeah. And it's like, your kids don't talk to you. What the fuck are you asking me about my son? Leave my son alone. Leave my kids, my son, my jeans away. I don't even know if I like you. Even if we are married, I still don't want you alone with my child. That's not your child. All right. Um, Capricorn and Taurus. That's supposed to be a good combination. All right. I feel like it's over and you guys are still trying to hold on to it. But it's like you guys just keep going through cycles. You're not letting it in, but it does look like it's over. Um, but you guys are not letting it in. We have the Ace of Swords reverse, which means you're not completely cutting something off, but people are lying. They're not telling each other the truth, right? And the lies are causing the relationship to end, right? The lies are causing this relationship to end or for there, there really needs to be some changes in order for this relationship to work, but the changes are not happening. You guys are staying stuck in the same place. So I don't know if it is over or if you guys are going to let each other go. The Ace of Swords reverse says it's not over. There are changes that needs to happen. The changes are not happening. So I just kind of feel that you guys are just stuck right now. Okay. All right. Capricorn and Gemini. Um, actually, it looks like it's working out pretty well. Right. I feel that um, you guys really are feeling each other. I feel like this is working out well. You guys care about each other and it's a relationship that's going to develop from something that is casual to something that is uh, pretty intense. OK, that's what I see here. <sighs> What's a red flag? What's a red fat cerebral? That's the name of my email. All right, Capricorn and Cancer. Capricorn and Cancer, King of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn and Cancer with five of swords. So you guys are getting married. This is a marriage. This is a long-term committed relationship. You guys could have just had a little spat in which you went your separate ways, but you guys are coming out of that now. Okay. And moving into planning for the future. 
I do see that there are other people that might be around, but I wouldn't mess with this union. If I was messing with the Capricorn and um, I wanted to date them and they told me they were dating and I asked them, OK, what are the signs of the people that you're dating? And one of them was a cancer. I wouldn't fuck with them because this looks impenetrable, like it's not going to be penetrated. I can't say it impenetrable, impenetrable. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't look like anybody is going to be able to come between this Capricorn and this Cancer here. So I wouldn't fuck with it. All right. Capricorn and Leo. Somebody is already in another relationship with someone else, but you guys want to hold on to each other, but it's going to end up with you being emotionally slaughtered. You're going to be devastated and hurt and you're going to be mistreated and treated like shit and cast aside and discarded without any emotional um, care or concern. Somebody is already in a relationship with somebody else, but they want to hold on to you. And the only thing you're going to get out of this is hurt. Okay. All right. Capricorn and Virgo. Ooh, that's supposed to be a good one. Capricorn and Virgo. Yeah, leave my kids alone. Capricorn and Virgo. God, this. Yeah, it is wild. How old are his kids? I don't speak to him. Capricorn and Virgo. Super chat is open, you all. Capricorn and Virgo. Capricorn and Virgo. I don't see it over, but I see Virgo probably being very critical of Capricorn, being very critical of this relationship. It seems like somebody could um, possibly. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? And you're a Capricorn? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is very critical of this relationship and I feel that somebody is like in their feelings, though, really bad about this connection. They're not in their head at all. They're in their feelings about it. And there might not be any communication right now because somebody is so deeply in their feelings about this. But somebody could have an ex-wife that they're not over or somebody died and they're not over their wife. There definitely is a wife here that somebody's not over or whatever. Somebody lost all emotions and, and they just, they can't really deal. Somebody just is like, just lost control. They is so head over heels crazy about this person. They can't keep it together. And uh, you know, there's somebody is just real crazy about you. No, you didn't miss. Uh, oh, really? No. And they just can't let you go no matter what. They just cannot let you go. They just feel like you are the love of their life. And for life, you will be the love of their life. <laughs> Shit. God damn. Who was that? That was Virgo? Damn. That's how somebody feels about you? That's how Virgo feels about you? Jesus. Capricorn and Libra? Wow. Whoa. Y'all can't leave each other alone either, either, right? At first, it was just one-sided. One person loved the other, and the other person wasn't really tripping off the other person at first, right? But then it's going to grow to both parties loving each other, and neither one can leave each other alone. It's over, though, because, you know, it's not, I mean, I just feel like you guys are both stuck, you, you're stuck on each other and you guys are not leaving each other alone. You're still waiting for each other. And, but nobody, nobody wants to leave each other alone. You need to leave each other alone, but you won't leave each other alone because there's a lot of love here. All right. There's a lot of love here. And let's see what happens with you and the Capricorn. 
nothing happens though between you and the Libra. Somebody's trying to get out of this situation and they're moving towards, uh, they're turning their back towards this, towards the Capricorn and they're moving in another direction with someone else who could possibly be a fire sign. All right, not necessarily though. Oh, really? Okay. That's Capricorn and Libra. Capricorn and Scorpio. Capricorn and Scorpio. Doesn't this picture look good? Does it look as good on your phone as it does on this camera? I'm so glad I moved the... Um... Yeah, this picture is looking good. I wonder what it would look like in front of a green screen. Who am I doing? Capricorn and Scorpio. Okay. Oh, you do? Oh, shit. That was like, you know, love, love. Capricorn and Scorpios, you guys are just destined to be together for life. And um, you guys are madly in love with each other. This person, Capricorn and who? Scorpio? Isn't that, is that your opposite? No, Taurus is your opposite. Capricorn and Scorpio. You guys are twin flames, in love, happy. You guys are probably married, going to be married. It's felt right since the day that you met. You know, it just felt like right at home, the right person, your soulmate, your twin flame. You can talk to this person, be yourself, be your raw self, be true. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of connection. This is probably going to be your husband, your wife. Y'all probably already married. It's been good since day one. Yeah, it looks very clear, doesn't it? This picture is a home in Buckwood. Don't it look pretty? This is in Atlanta. All right, that's Scorpio. Um, Capricorn and Sagittarius. Capricorn and Sagittarius. Capricorn and Sagittarius. You guys are, all right, so you guys are starting something new here, building a life with each other that it looks like is going to result in um, a passionate affair. I feel a lot of passion here. You guys are moving towards a commitment, but it starts with uh, uh, with the amount of passion that you guys have for each other, right? But you might be moving towards commitment a little too fast. Who is this? A Capricorn and who? Sagittarius? I see you guys moving to commitment. I see you guys building a relationship with each other. You guys are cooperating to try and build with each other. But um, you are moving towards commitment, but it looks like it's, it might be a, a delayed. Um, like it's not, the commitment is not coming as quickly as you would like for the commitment to come. And it's making you feel some kind of way about that. Um, <sighs> what else? What happens if I put the microphone there? Now what you going to do? Now where? Why doesn't the picture look as bright anymore? Wow. The microphone takes the light away. We can't have that. That's what it did. I said, what you going to do? So I'm going to take your light away. No, no. Give me my light back. Give me my light back, Charlie. That Let me fix the light. Okay, wait. All right, there we go. I might have to move this like that to get some more light. That light looks a lot better. So I see that you guys are very passionate. 
there's a some of you are making a new start in this relationship and um it just might you might not get commitment as quickly as you'd like to get commitment but you guys are working on it okay okay all right so capricorn and aquarius okay so i see that there's different people in this uh connection there's somebody over here and there's somebody over there. They're giving presents to this woman, giving presents to that woman. So somebody is given to more than one woman or somebody is, and they're given money or time and attention. And, you know, they're building something with these people too. Who is this Capricorn and Aquarius? Right. Um, but I feel like you have no competition, right? Because I feel that you are going to be the only one that ultimately stays. So it's going to start off with there being other people in the connection, but then it's going to end up with just you. Okay. But it's going to start off with others, but eventually it'll just be with you. Really? Isn't that background cute? I found it at realtor.com on my other channel. Does anybody in here have a Libra placement? I have a channel for Libras. Or are you dating a Libra? Cerebral, if you care, I have another channel called Yanka Tarot. And it's just for Libras. And anyway, at that station, the, they don't know me, right? And... Uh, I have this in the background and they say, oh my God, your house is so pretty. It's mainly white people that are subscribers though. All white people. I don't know where the black people are. I got maybe two black subscribers. If you go to the comment section, you will see for yourself. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's going on with that. Cause I'm hood. Cause I'm hood. Hi. All right. Next we have uh, Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. Aquarius and Pisces. Ooh. A cool. Aquarius and Pisces. I see a lot of misunderstandings and arguments. And I see you guys just can't talk to each other and you can't get eye to eye. I see delays and bad moods and I see bad moods and delays and lack of communication. And I feel like you're not even looking in this direction anymore. Oh, you do? Okay, well, check out Yanka's Tarot. Are you seeing someone cerebral? Let's see. No, I'll look at it later. Check out Young. I have Venus and Libra too. We both have Venus and Libra. And I love Capricorns because they they usually can hang in there, you know. But um, Pisces, I feel like there's, like I said, a lot of arguments, but there's a lot of love here. Um, a lot of love here. Whether you agree with it or not, there's a lot of love here. But I see you guys separating from right now, okay? All right, so let's just ask the time oracle. When is somebody special coming for the single Capricorns? Let's ask the time. Oh, Capricorns probably want to know about money, huh? What time is it? Has it been? Oh, it's time to stop. All right. All right, Capricorns. When is somebody special coming along for you singles? Cerebral, did you check it out yet? Yeah, definitely. Now, Cerebral, what color are you? You look like a white girl down there. You white, black, Filipino, Mexican, Italian, Jewish. Oh, you seen a Taurus. What did it say about the Taurus? I forgot what it said about the Taurus. Okay, so when is somebody new coming along? When is somebody new coming along? When is somebody new? Ooh, the summer. Okay, so the summer. Some of you are going to find somebody new in the summer. Some of you are going to find somebody new in the fall. 
And for others of you, it's not quite the right time. <laughs> Melanated Beauty said, I'm late to the party. All right. Those of you who are in a relationship, when are things going to be? Yeah, Capricorn and Tauruses are supposed to be uh, really, really, really thing doing the thing good. But maybe it didn't pick up on your sun sign. Because I know the other day when I did a reading for this lady, she the it said that that sign and Virgos weren't doing well. But then it said that sign and Libras were. And she and he had Libra. Oh, okay. What did it say about um what did it say about Tauruses? I forgot. It said something bad, didn't it? All right. Okay, so let's take a look at God. This picture is pretty. Man, I like this. Could you imagine that being your living room? And look how you open up. Um Okay, look how you open up the door and they have that patio furniture there. And look, so I guess, I don't know what this is. Oh, when did your Taurus pass away? Okay, when are things going to change for those of you in a relationship? It says it's going to take a while, but... It looks like a little bit before August, things are really going to take a turn towards the good for those of you in relationships. Okay. All right. All right. Let's pull some manifest success cards. Oh, yeah. Cerebral. Oh, you're a Scorpio sun. Well, it said that the Scorpio and the Capricorn. Oh, he's a Taurus. Well, where? Uh, it said this. Does the Taurus have any Capricorn placement? What What is your Capricorn placement, Cerebral? All right. You know, I'm going to be taking care of my aunt and she has um, one of those cards for food stamps, right? I remember back in the day, they used to be, they had twin, they, they were like money. They looked like money, the food stamps, but I think now they're on a card and she wants me to get things for her. I'm not going to be comfortable going to, the, let me shut up. I don't even want to say that. I don't want nobody to feel good, feel bad. So, but I, I don't think I want to feel too comfortable with that. I feel like I have to explain to them. <laughs> All right. What did it say about Capricorns and Tauruses? Thank you, Melanated Beauty. Cerebral. Oh, your moon is in Capricorn. All right. All right. I see financial relief coming to you, Capricorns. I see you being content as well. I see job security and I see your finances growing, right? But some of you have made a bad investment. So be careful with that. Um, I see some paperwork and contracts showing up. Um, and I see you writing, taking a class, education and law. That's what I see for you financially. All right, I gotta go pay this ticket. I love doing these. Yeah, I, I heard you say that. Oh, four years ago? Oh, honey, it's time for you to... Oh, I don't know. Oh, really? I wasn't trying to be. All right. Okay, Mama Sita. 
All right, you guys. Well, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm about to go roll me one. I have, I'm not happy with this uh, this weed that I got this week at all. I don't even know when I'm high. It just it just feels like nothing, you know. I don't like that at all. I don't know what I said that was funny. Oh, yeah, I went through self. Oh, you can go through self-checkout? Yeah. Oh, yeah. HR, I thought you were a Virgo. Okay, you guys. Well, welcome to my home in Buckwood. The fireplace is right over there. I don't like that fireplace. Mm -mm, I don't like that, but I like the TV there. We'll look at over there, what kind of kitchen we have over there. I might change the house tomorrow. How come there's no refrigerator? What is that glass thing right there? Is that a, oh, that's a table. What is that? That must be a, okay. And that's the. Is it electric? What makes you think it's electric? I don't see anything to turn it on. Oh. <laughs> hey, Miss C, what's going on with you? I should come back on and talk about, you guys know who Ruby Frank is? I should roll the video that I did from her. No, it's not electric. It looks like it's real. They're selling this house for $35 million. They have a basketball in there. But see, I really believe that whatever you look at and put yourself in, it'll come to pass. I really had stopped manifest. Oh, let me let me log off for Capricorns and then I'll log back on and just talk some shit. But I want their reading to be closed. No, uh-uh. Y'all know this is not a real picture, right? You know I'm in front of a green screen, right? You know that? You don't know that? Melanated, what are you talking about? <laughs> See? We're cerebral. I told you. I told you on the other channel. You're like, oh, look at the, the design. I'm like, yes, darling. Yes, darling. The design is gorgeous, darling. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. <laughs> Lady Leo, what's going on with you? You couldn't tell? <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, y'all. I don't want to hold the Capricorns up no more. Um... You know, when a Libra runs out of something to say, you know, there's, there's a problem. I can tell you what the oracles want to say real fast before you leave. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's a $35 million here. Let me let you look at it without me being here. Isn't that nice? Every picture that I posted on my wall, I have lived in the house that looked just like that picture. That's why I have $2.2 million. Oh, you guys, I know. I'm gonna come back on and talk about $10,000 a month. Right, because I did that for years and I wanna maybe do a class on it on, oh no, I gotta get a reading done. Let me do this reading because she, let me do this reading because she's a real good client. She's my favorite client, in fact. And then I'll come back on maybe and we'll talk about $10,000 a month. Okay. Yes, Cerebral. So let me tell you. So I every, when I was, okay, 
you don't have to know how you're going to get it. If you will just imagine yourself there, the how will take care of itself. I remember being in a shelter and I did not have a job and yep, I did not have a job and I did not have the credit to get an apartment. And I just was waiting and waiting and waiting for things to come into fruition, but nothing happened until I started taking steps. So I started looking for apartments on faith, but anyway, I couldn't really see a big, pretty house, but I did put an apartment in front of me at the shelter. I put an apartment in front of me and I moved in it 30 days later. I moved faster than anybody else in the shelter. And there were some people who had been there six months. I was there for six weeks and I just kept putting stuff in front of me and looking at it every day and imagining myself in it. And every, I mean, all hell, everything just started coming together in order for me to be in that apartment. That's why you got to keep, what are your goals this week? What do you want to accomplish? Where do you see yourself in six weeks? Where do you see yourself next month? What, you know, where, where is your life going? Do you have goals and do you have pictures that, or a vision board? You can put a vision board on your phone with Canva. I just got one thing on my vision board. But you can put a vision board on your phone from Canva if you want. No, what is a golden egg video? A golden egg video? I don't remember. What was it about? All right, you guys. So I'm going to go now. I'm in a two-bedroom townhome. So you guys, I want to have a home to leave behind for me. Well, then put that on the wall. Put that someplace. Write it down and it will be yours. Thank you, Capricorns. Love you. Talk to you at another time. God bless.